Hello everyone. Welcome to the introductory lecture of Elasticsearch. What is Elasticsearch? This is something simple to use but quite confusing to understand. Oh, did I confuse you? Well, if you ask the definition of Elasticsearch, then there is no one defined definition. Some people call Elasticsearch as no SQL database. Some call it a solution to big data. And some people know this as a Google that means a search engine. Now, let me tell you, they all are correct. Elasticstack or Elasticsearch has been used for a growing number of use cases. From a simple search on a website or document, collecting and analyzing log data, to a business intelligence tools for data analysis and visualization. It is today's most popular search engine and one of the most popular database. Now let me define this for you. Elasticsearch is a scalable open source, multi-talent capable, full text, distributed search and analytics engine, which provides real-time data analytics and searches. It is a database that stores, retrieves and manages document-oriented and semi-structured data. I am sure as now you know what Elasticsearch is, then I am pretty much sure that you, you would be interested in knowing where we use Elasticsearch. So, here is the list of some primary use cases of Elasticsearch. Application search, website search, enterprise search, logging and log analytics, infrastructure metric and container monitoring, security analytics, business analytics. Hmm, so here's the point. Why do we need Elasticsearch? Don't we have an existing solution for the, all the use cases I have covered here? We have the solution, but products that involve search engine with huge databases are facing issues, including product information retrieval taking too long. Reason is relational database work comparatively slow when it comes to huge data and fetching search results through database queries. This leads to poor user experience and in turn, turns off the potential customer. Now let's check out the list of companies using Elasticsearch. Here I am covering only few examples like Netflix, Walmart, eBay. Now it's time to see some basic terms used in Elasticsearch like index, cluster, shards, nodes. But before proceeding, as I told you, Elasticsearch is a NoSQL database, then let me first compare Elasticsearch with SQL so it will be quite easier for beginners to start. Here I have two sides, one with SQL and other with Elasticsearch. Point number one, column in SQL is called field in Elasticsearch. Same as row is called document, Table is called index, SQL has a schema, but Elasticsearch is schemaless. And a database in SQL is called cluster in Elasticsearch. Now here, you can see how data are stored in table in SQL and in JSON format in Elasticsearch. As you can see here, I have only represented a single row which is called a document in Elasticsearch with ID 100, name John and age 25. Hope the similarities in SQL and Elasticsearch is clear. Now it's time to see the details about the basic terms I use earlier, starting with the index. An index is like a table as I have compared the Elasticsearch with SQL. It's like a table in a relational database. It stores complex data structure in the form of JSON document. 
index is some type of data organization mechanism allowing the user to partition data a certain way. It provides optimized collection of document where each document has a field with key value pair which stores your data. An index is a logical name, namespace which maps one or more primary shards. Now you must be thinking what is shards. I will cover that quickly. Before that, first check out how to create an index in Elasticsearch. It is quite simple. As you can see here, to create an index, you need to run this command. Put forward slash index name. It's as simple as that. This is the API call for index creation. Now it's time to see what is shards and cluster. Before proceeding with shards, let me briefly talk about what is cluster. At any time, as you can see in the picture, some collection of shards and replicas are representing node and collection of nodes are representing cluster. So can I say collection of nodes is called cluster? Yes, we can. At any time you start an instance of Elasticsearch, you are starting a node. A collection of connected nodes is called a cluster. Suppose if you are running a single node of Elasticsearch, then you have a cluster of one node. Now, it's time to see what is shards. Shards are pieces of your information or pieces of your data where each piece contains n number of entire document. As per the configuration of shards in the index, we'll see how we can configure this number of shards while creating an index. We'll see that later. So if you have index with 1000 document and a cluster with two node, then each node will hold 500 document if you have assigned the value to shards underscore number is equal to two in your index creation. Now let's check out how to create that. What I'm talking about shard underscore number is equal to two. As you can see here, how you can create a shards while creating an index, you just have to assign this value, the number of shards and replicas in the settings of your index creation. Now, do I need to explain what is replicas? It's quite simple to understand, right? Replicas are nothing but a copy of your information from the shards. So here I'm representing four shards, four replicas. Each replicas are nothing but copy of your shards. So this is all about basic intro of Elasticsearch and these are the basic terminologies used in Elasticsearch. Hope this lecture and basic understanding of Elasticsearch is clear to you. Thank you so much for watching this.